Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be you, be you, be something different. Hey. Be you, be you, be something different. Let's go. Trying to motivate you, time to do it major. Uh -huh. uh, be something different, a legend in the making. Be you, be you, be something different. Hey. Be you, be you, be something different. Let's go. Try to motivate you, time to do it major. Hey. Uh, be something different, a legend in the making. Yeah. You got a purpose and life is a journey to find it. Yeah. You are so powerful and I'm just here to remind you. Right. Build up the knowledge and keep going forward. I'm trying yeah. to tell you the future is so beautiful because you designed it for real. Yeah. Everything starts with a thought. So if you're yeah. ready to get it popping, then let's get involved. It's time for action with a passion. It's not Okay, yes. two questions, sir. Yes. Uh, how you doing? My name is Donnie Carswell. I'm with WDR of B Media. I have my show called Different Kind of Radio. Okay. And I'm a teacher who teaches media and journalism. And uh, I have a brand that's all called Be Something Different. And you basically embody everything that we believe Who's in. Who's your audience? My audience is uh, youth. Uh, we, we speak to the kids that, in my school and, uh, and anywhere in Augusta or um, the nation, actually, uh, that has the same type of predicament. Like, Are they high school? Are they university? Not, not Nine oh, awesome! Yes, nine awesome. to twelve, and and then, and the whole thing is be something different and be you. Yeah. And you said something at the end that was so impactful, and I really want you to explain it. You said, "Do not compromise yourself mm -hmm. for who you want to be professionally." Mm -hmm. And we live in an era where I have so many talented youth that want to speak about their faith, mm -hmm. but because that's not trending, or because that's not going to get them there. What do you suggest to them and how do they move forward in this time with that kind of pressure? Thank you so much for locking in on that because that's my personal life mantra. And it basically states, never compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professionally. There are two rules of thumb in communication that I use. One of them is to never start a sentence with I. While it can be dramatically correct, to speak leading with I. My mom taught me early on that it's not spiritually correct to lead with I. And so very often you will find I will edit in my head. How do I say this without beginning with the word I? That gives me so much more, not just passion, but purpose in how I'm speaking with someone else. The second rule of thumb for me in communication is to stay away from the word never. Never say never. You've heard that before. So when I start something with never, it's emphatic for me. It's absolute for me. And that is why my personal life mantra states, never compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professionally. Let's talk about what's underneath that. When you're at a teenage point in your life, you're being given levels of authority around your life, as well as lots of communication about what you can and cannot do, because you're approaching points of education and work that you've not had the ability to enter into before. It becomes very important that those of us who were brought up spiritually, such as I was, do not lean on God's forgiveness so much that we behave in ways that it has to be offered us every single day. Learn to live in a way that the majority of your prayers are gratitude and not asks for forgiveness. Compromising yourself personally to become who you wish to be professionally may in quick moments feel as though you're doing something that you're gonna ask forgiveness for or you'll pay it forward later. But the truth is, and the truth is, it eats at you inside. Mm -hmm. And that's why we see so many people who reach renown without being able to enjoy that success. And the only thing that feeds you is to do more and more of it. And history teaches us that we often repeat the same behavior looking for different answers. If you get into the track of doing things that you can't share out loud, then you're going to end up living a very, very private life. And privacy at some point becomes isolation. Go ahead and live with your community and do those things that you know you can be proud of. And when the script is written about your life, you can say, I share it out loud.